So today it's Adam's birthday. He's not here right now. Um, I think he's a little bit upset with me. Um, I only bought him socks. What's happening, Bid Army? Welcome back. And you guessed it, today is my birthday. Let's just forget about how old I am. Forget about my friends, family, Lindsay, kind of letting me down with the present haul. Socks, man. It's all good, because as usual, you guys got my back. And I've never really done anything like this before. I've always kind of liked the idea, but I do get sent food, stuff like that, fairly often. A lot of the time, I open it in my uh, Chronicles of Beard vlog style series uh, but usually it just kind of goes up in my office and sits there unless it's something really cool and unique I'll kind of keep it as a souvenir sometimes but usually I don't get around to eating it so I thought this month I got so much stuff here that I can have a little birthday banquet all to myself so there are a lot of cool fun items here that I've never tried before so we're gonna do this semi mukbang style I'm not going to make it too boring though, I'm going to put some music in there, some cool edits, stuff like that. Not too much loud chewing. So yeah, all in all, ultimately, should make for a pretty entertaining video. So without further ado, this is Beer Meets Food, and... This is just a lot of food. That'll probably do. Uh, I'll put the calories up on screen somewhere once I figure it out. I'm assuming it's over 10,000, though I'm not certain, but I'll do my best. To figure it out, to get to it. I'm going to start with the savoury stuff. Let's go with the biltong. No one gets excited about biltong. Biltong is basically beef jerky. You don't want to eat that. Jerky is done. I knew it. We do actually have some more beef jerky. There's some little bits in there, but whatever. That jerky was denser than the first one. It was really rubbery, but it tasted slightly better than the first, so whatever. Let's do some crisps. Sweet potato chips. I mean, kind of make these things out. Alright, it's not focusing, but they're pretty much like crisps. Oh yeah, I made that sweet potato. They're actually really good. I really don't get excited about crisps or chips or whatever you want to call them. Um, but the sweet potato there kind of gave them a slight creaminess. Weird. A little bit more robust in terms of holding the flavor, right? Next, we're gonna do Whissington Tomato, whatever that is. <laughs> Just tomato flavored crisps. Ugh, pork crackling. Look at that. Look at the size of that. It's huge. Oh, I almost want to stop and take a picture with my phone. Guinness World Record breaking pot crackling. I don't think you've seen that. What? The crackling is done, apart from a little bit of dust in there. And if you don't know what crackling is, it's basically pork fat. That's it. They normally put some salt on there, some vinegar maybe. But that actually tasted good. Normally, 
I can't stand pork scratchings. Speaking of which, we have some more pork scratchings. These were all sent to me by, um, I forget the name of the company, like a pub snacks subscription service. This is weird. It's got pieces of dried apple in there. It's another one of these. Comment below if you know the reason they put those in packages of meat. The nicest part of that whole package was the dried apples, weirdly enough. Anyway, let's go on to some fun stuff. Let's do, in fact, I'm gonna do this uh, can of nuts first. Crunchy roast peanuts in a can. These are like bright orange. What the heck? Are peanuts normally that color? Speed up. <clears throat> All right, let's do. I'm looking forward to the peanut butter Twinkies. So let's do these chocolate ones. I'm no stranger to a Twinkie though. Honestly, why do they individually wrap these? There should at least be two packs. Not the dead wrapper. Or is he? been a lot of talk of editing lately but that's one of the reasons I do it because nobody wants to just watch a 33 year old bearded man struggle with packaging like a two-year-old just getting out of hand now taking way too long to eat these things Ugh. Chocolate Twinkies done. I probably need to tidy my beard up a little bit. Okay, what next? Um, I think we will do the banana ones. They look a little bit less bashed. So hopefully they're in better condition. Banana Twinkie. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get that now. <sighs> this was a uh... Yeah, poor choice of mug. Coffee might come in handy later though because my ears are already starting to ring from all the sugar. Um, next I'm gonna do, not more pork uh, crackling. I'm gonna do some of these tasty cakes. Now, the guy that sent me these says apparently they're like a Philadelphia delicacy. Maybe delicacy is the wrong word, but apparently they're a Philadelphia thing. They are pretty big. I thought it was gonna be, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 in there, but it's actually four. But they are a lot denser than I thought. Wow. Oh, 
look at that. A lot more, I would say sickly. That's not to say it tastes bad, they don't. But the chocolate is a really rich chocolate. I actually don't know what I think of the tasty cake. They are heavy though. I can't tell if this is two or one. There is some kind of separation in the middle. Oh, they just, they don't inject the filling. They just sandwich two pieces of sponge together. That makes sense. I'm starting to sweat, man. My sugar tolerance just gets worse with age. I used to be really good with sugar when I was a little bit younger, but oh, it just makes me sweat now. I guess I may as well finish the tasty cakes. Although, what's definitely going to come in handy here is the carbonation from the root beer. It's actually one of my favorite drinks, A&W Root Beer, but I normally get the diet version, if I can get it. Um, just because it's like 150 calories a can, otherwise. Now, I don't really like to drink liquid, unless it's a Five Guys milkshake, all right. All right, the tasty cakes are done. Tasty cakes, you just don't know. I guess I should do the Pop Tarts. Just because I really hate pop tarts. I don't understand why anyone would eat them. I actually put them in the toaster this time, normally I just eat them raw. Straight out of the packet. Maybe that's why I don't like them though. These are brown sugar flavour. Of all the pop tarts I've had, these are probably the least offensive to my taste buds. They're actually all right. I've been asked a few times to do a 100 pop tart challenge. There's absolutely no chance of me ever doing that. Pardon me. I don't think I would even get through 50 of these things. That really synthetic, cinnamony style taste is getting to me now. So we're gonna mix things up with a little bit of savory. Oh no, these are jalapeno. This could go bad. That's my attempt to try and show you the inside of the bag. <coughs> Failed miserably. I have these before though. Not the jalapeno version. Another version, but these are really nice. Oh, these are really hot though. Let's do a time check. 38 minutes. Oh, I'm slacking. It took me too long to open the Twinkies. Right, the 4th of July passed not long ago so i suppose i gotta try these red white and blue cakes it's a ludicrously patriotic name god those look sweet oh i can't get over how <coughs> hot the pretzel things are red white and blue cakes these things are sticky they kind of remind me of uh what was that other hostess thing that i had Ding dongs? I think it was ding dong. It reminded me of ding dongs. They don't really taste like anything. Sugar is hard now. That's why I've got coffee. 
It's cold now though. Do some more of these. Uh. Hey Adam, how do you spend your birthday? You go out for like a romantic meal? Weekend away with the girlfriend? Nah. No. Just ate snacks from strangers for like an hour. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> okay, now I really want to try at least a few of these. What you call it, bars? Come on! <laughs> Peanut and caramel. So it sounds like the English equivalent of pretty much like a lion bar or something. They look a little bit like a really flat lion bar. Mmm, there it is. It's got kind of a salty aftertaste, which is pretty nice. I'm getting so tired of sweet stuff. I'm actually thinking about eating some more pork scratching this. That is a nice relief from really sweet stuff. These are some high quality pork scratchings. I, I'm really enjoying them. I haven't even made a start on all these like British goodies. Some Turkish delight in there. I think there's like a dib dab, which is like a lolly with popping candy. These get saltier the further down you go. Sounded weird. Oh, I'm losing momentum now. 49 minutes. I'm gonna crack the second can of A and W. It legitimately feels like eating some wet fingernail clippings. That is awful. Absolutely dire. I'm tempted to eat some more of these uh, spicy pretzel things. These are good until you hit like a really spicy pocket. <coughs> If you get the slightly less spicy ones, they're nice, but... Whew. Rainbow drops, just because it's been ages since I had them. These are pretty much Rice Krispies, but you eat them without milk. I suppose you could eat them with milk. <coughs> They're also multicolored. <sighs> oh. Six minutes left. Oh. These were sent to me by a, a, a guy called Ben. He's actually sent me a lot of stuff. Honestly, I haven't had these. It must be literally since I was like eight years old. They taste like paper. Oh, all this sherbet in the middle. They're nice though. I would never eat them casually, but they're actually not bad. This is the kind of thing Lindsay would count as one of her five fruits and veggies a day. <laughs> Just because they're brightly colored. 
Now, in case you're wondering what I actually got for my birthday, I got some socks, I got some underwear. They weren't like Calvin Klein or anything. You kind of overlook it if it's something as nice as Calvin Klein underwear. I got some gym trainers and my grandma sent me 12 cans. I'm not even joking, 12 cans of the Lynx deodorant. So I'm not sure if she's trying to tell me something, but she also gave me uh, like six packs of ginger snaps. I don't know if you know what that is. It's like, uh, they're like ginger biscuits. I really love ginger biscuits. But yeah, she sent me like a post-apocalypse pack. If you're walking around in public and you sniff ginger and Lynx Africa, keep your eyes peeled because it could be me. <laughs> What time we are? There's no way I can finish all this. Ugh. The sourness of those things just hits you. I thought it might be kind of fun. See what you guys think of, uh, you know, me just eating a bunch of weird stuff I wouldn't normally eat, and stuff that you guys have sent me. So if you see something you've sent me on this table, I really appreciate it. There's a lot of fun filming this today, and I've done a lot of fun videos lately. Apart from that 12 pound music thing I did. I think this is going to be my last fun, self-indulgent video. We're going to get back to doing some more insane stuff very soon. But thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time.